Brakata Yahua, Brakata Yahua Shai, Call Halayim La Yahua, Baha Sham Yahua Shai, Bracha Hakodash, <coughs> which means all praises to Yahua is the name of the Heavenly Father. Baha Sham means in the name. Yahweh Shah is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barcha HaKodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Mathathi from the Great Millstone Camp, the Grand John Des Moines. <coughs> Shalom, I and mean, um, not sure I'm going to title this lesson just yet. But it could be going along the lines of uh, how self-pity is a demon, man. You know, and too much. Of, well, I'm going to just read this 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 definition here. Now, this is the Google definition, right? It says definitions from Oxford languages. It says self-pity. <coughs> <coughs> See, that's crazy. Now I want to do this lesson. Now my voice want to act up. It says self-pity. Excessive, self-absorbed unhappiness. Over one's own troubles, man. You see? Excessive. That's the key word right there. Excessive. Self-absorbed unhappiness over one's own troubles. We all going through it, man. As the scripture says, you know, whatever, you know, uh, whatever, you know, brothers is having self-pity over or, or whatever it may be. The scripture says... In the book of Romans, how Romans 3 and 23, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the most high. You see, each and every one of us, man. But through the grace that's been gifted unto us through Yahweh Shai, we should be moving in, in, in what it says in newness of life. Let's not, you know, wallow in our mistakes. The scripture says that a just man fall, right? Let me get that next, Lord's will. Romans 6 and 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism unto death. That like as Yahweh Shai was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in newness of life. That word newness, in the new state of life in which the Holy Spirit places us so as to produce a new state which is eternal life. It says renewal, newness. To refresh, yeah, new, freshness. Right. And that's the uh, uh, the spirit within us, man. That's talking about our mentality, our mind. That's freshed. That is renewed through the grace of Yahweh Shai. Right. Let's get this in a uh, book of Proverbs. Proverbs 24 and 16 for a just man falleth seven times. That's a complete number, man. It ain't talking about exactly seven times. No, we in this body of sin. What did Paul say in Romans, the seventh chapter? The things that I would do, I don't do. The things that I don't want to do, that I do. You see? So it's the constant battle of the flesh, man. It's the constant battle of the flesh. Right? That's why he said, with the flesh, I serve sin. But with the mind, I serve the law of the most high. But that don't mean that you just go do whatever the fuck your flesh tells you to do. No, man. In 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, he said, I put my body under subjection lest I become a castaway. So these words and precepts that we use and teach, we should apply to our life, man. And walk within these precepts. Because too much self-pity, too much that woe is me being down on yourself will destroy you, man. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. I said, I said that that. That woe is me spirit will destroy you. Because the scripture says. In the book of Proverbs, another pro uh, a scripture in Proverbs, Proverbs 18 and four, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. That's talking about your mind. And our mind is strengthened through Yahweh Shai. You see, it tells us in the here in the book of Sirach, the 14th chapter. This is Sirach 14 and 2. Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him. 
and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord, man. So we should not allow our conscience to condemn us. It says. Sirach 30 and 21, give not over thy mind to heaviness and afflict not thyself in thy own counsel. You see that? These are precepts that we have to apply within our lives. So when that self-pity demon comes in, when he try to whisper those certain words, you cut his ass, man. You think upon these precepts. Nah, 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 fuck that. Not finna afflict myself in my own counsel. Not finna give myself over to this. I made a mistake. You see? So now what? You, big, you pick yourself back up again. You see? And you continue to move in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh to the best of your ability. Because going back to the Sirach, it says, Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Here it is. Look what's happening all over the world, man. Are you not in tune with, 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 with what's going on? <laughs> you see? See, you being not in tune, and like it says in Matthew, the sixth chapter, says, keep the eye single. If you worried about all the bullshit that's around, what it, uh, uh, it's a saying that Bruce Lee said, man. You looking at the finger. How did he word that, man? He pointed at the moon. And he said, you too busy looking at the finger instead of looking at the moon with all his glory. And kind of like it unto, you know, when Peter was walking on water, he's had his eyes on Yahweh Shah, but when the thunder and the lightning and the waves became boisterous, he took his focus off Yahweh Shah and he began to sink, man. See the waters being turbulent, the wind blowing hard, the thunder and lightning, that all represents the trials, tribulations, and troubles that we go through within this life, man. But if we keep our eyes on Yahweh Shai, he will keep us afloat. We'll be able to walk on all that bullshit, man. And look at what's happening throughout the earth. Do you not see these precepts showing forth itself? Proverbs 13 and 12. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. What's your hope? You see? What is your hope? Because that Sirach says, blessed is he who have not fallen from his hope. Our hope is being renewed each and every day as we see these prophecies keep popping off, man. You see all this shit that's starting off that's, 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 that's uh, boiling over in the Middle East, man? You see the, the accuser of our brethren starting to put his case together? It says the accuser of our brethren is cast down. That's what that precept says. So this devil has to put us in categories. He has to do these things, but his fall is imminent, man. Do you not see these things? Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life, man. What is your desire? Because my desire is to see the downfall of these enemies, man. Ain't that a, ain't that a precept? <laughs> right? Sirach 25, it should be, right? Let's just see Sirach 25 and 7. I don't think it says uh, desire in it, do it? And a man that have, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. My man, Thawadi Hao Basham Yahweh Shai. Yeah, Thawadi Hao. Thawadi Hao Basham Yahweh Shai. Goddamn voice. Psalms 54 and 7. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble. Here it is, man. Out of all the situations we find ourselves in, man, the Lord still got us here. Is that not him delivering us out of all our troubles? We still here praising Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. The Lord still put the spirit on us to go out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this present evil world. Still put the, the spirit on us to do uh, lessons. Come on, man. And my eye have seen his desire upon his enemy. Psalms 51 and 10. The power of my mercy shall prevent me, meaning meet, meet me. The most High shall let me see my desire upon my enemies. 
Psalms 92 and 11. My eyes also shall see my desire on my enemies and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. We're seeing the beginning of it. We're seeing the fall of our enemies, man. You see? So it is the tree of life. This is what's re, re what's the word? Re, reinvigorating. Reinvigorating us, man. You know? Each morning, man. Knowing that our Lord Yahweh is that much closer. That's why the Lord told us to watch. You see? Jake that's not watching. Jake that don't have their eye single. You caught up in your sorrows. And now, oh, man, look. At times we get like that, man. At times, hey, 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 this flesh should be too much. But guess what? Going back to that Sirach, it says, Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him. Well, there are there are times where our conscience, our own mind, this flesh should get the best of us, right? This is the book of, uh, matter of fact, 1 John 3. That's Peter Salakia. First John three. I started 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue. This ain't mouth service, man. But in deed and in truth, meaning our actions follow behind, right? My faith is shown in the works that I put forth. Is that not written? You should use that to combat the demons that's fucking with you. You see? That's not just looking for somebody else to see if they if they believe through their work. No, use that for yourself too, man. Keep in mind, these precepts are to be applied to ourselves first. Use these precepts to fight, man. Did not is that not is that not Yahweh? Did not Yahweh leave us that example? When Satan came, if you the son of God, turn these stones into bread, cast yourself down, you know? What do you, how shall I use scripture? The understanding of scripture. This is our defense, man. And if you ain't in tune with this, bro, 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 you going to lose, bro. Verse 19. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. You see, our heart, our minds will be assured through the action that we perform it. We speak these things and we perform them. We read these things, we apply them to our lives. Verse 20, for if our heart condemn us. See, if it wasn't possible, John wouldn't have wrote it. So at times, guess what? This flesh, your mind is going, man. I done did this, A, B, C, X, Y, the third. I done woo up the bam. For if our heart condemn us, the most high Yahweh is greater than our heart and knoweth all things, man. So the Lord knows if we truly love him and fear him and, and, and doing what we're uh, 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 um, required to do in his sight, man. He knows that. So even though Jake might be in this woe is me spirit, you might be in this self-pity wallowing in, in, in your troubled spirit. But yet the Lord still got you out there every week. A brother need help. Here it is. You there to provide that help for that brother. Brother need counsel. He need his spirit uplifted. You uplift his spirit even though yours is down. That shows that the most high is greater you see? And you use that to fight because that shows that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai still got his Holy Spirit upon us, man. But don't continue in that spirit. Because it says, it says what? Sorrow have killed many, man. Verse 21, beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence towards the Most High. See, our confidence is in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see, that's why in Hebrews 10, it says, cast not, therefore, your conf cast not away your confidence, which have great recompense of reward, man. What we're doing is not in vain. This is what should be able to uh, 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 to make us merry. 
Not a fucking bottle. Not a not 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 uh, a different fucking woman. You know, whatever, whatever. All these different things are lawful, but at certain points within our, they're not expedient, man. Don't allow these things to have power over you. This is what has power over us. This spirit, these words. You see, Jake be giving it into the bottle, man. That goddamn bottle, that, that, that bottle ain't, 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 ain't revigorating your spirit. The word is. Where we at, man? I think I said I was going to uh, grab something. Um, We read that Proverbs hope. Uh, just man fall seven times. Flick not yourself in your own counsel. I think that's it, man. You know, I think that's it. You know, I ain't finna make this long and draw it out, man. You know, this is our hope. This is our desire right here, man. To see the downfall of our enemies. And what does that mean? That mean when these, he when, when these heathen fall, starting with Esau, Edom, this wisdom of Solomon, 18 and 6, verse 7. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies, man. So Esau's downfall is all uprising. Jake so caught up with your troubles in, 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 in a bottle and trying to alleviate, trying to find a physical way to alleviate it. And you're forgetting what our comforter is, man. So to hell with that self-pity, uh, woe is me as spirit, man. We in the times of great glory. We in the times of salvation. And the Lord is coming with a reward, man. That's that. That's what it is. Did, did not the Lord tell us? Is that? Is, let's grab that, man. Paul even said it, man. It says, "Lift the feeble hands and 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 and, and, and weak knees, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way." And that 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 self pity ass spirit will cause you to fall, man. Isaiah 35 and 3, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. How do we do that? You got to get in the gym, brother. No, it's these precepts, man. This is how we're strengthened. It says that a wise man uh, has might. Yea, a wise man is strong. Proverbs 24 and 5, a wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increaseth strength. Ecclesiastes 7, 19, wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than 10 mighty men that are in the city, man. You see that? Strengthen, go back in Isaiah 35 and 3, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not, behold, your power will come with vengeance, even Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah with the recompense, he will come with and save you man if you believe that then walk in the spirit man we got these precepts you know that self-pity demon it'll keep you in that and not allowing you to see what the spirit is doing for you man you know and Hopefully, you know, the Wadi Yahweh about Sham Yahweh Shai, man. You know, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. You know, it reaches the ears who it reach. You know, and I hope it's helpful, man. You know, may Yahweh about Sham Yahweh Shai keep his Holy Spirit on us, man. Sincere, true Akia, man. You know? And let's focus, man. This is the beginning of sorrows, man. The love of many is waxing cold. Shit about to get real. And we need to make sure that our eye is single now more than ever. So, shallow on.